Look at that. Look at that. It's, it's just absolutely crazy at Elma's Island and Grand Isle today. Man, we out here catching a whole bunch of specks. I've seen sharks caught, everything else. We just started kind of catching some big ones. I didn't record all morning because I forgot my nut for my GoPro. So I had to just go back to the truck real quick, go catch that. I see my buddies down there, James and George. Check it out when we get there. Look, as I get back, James has already got one. I'm going to get into all the baits and everything that we're using whenever we get to the end of the video there we go hell yeah oh maybe slipping off there we go a little bit too small though there you go there we go get him james It's been like this all morning, guys. Just one after another. Maybe if they're small, some of them are good. Ugh. And there you go. And you get the, oh God. <laughs> I'm trying to show y'all the bait and I get whacked. Look at that. I'm, oh, what is that? Oh, the hardtail. But do you see what they're eating is the shrimp. Chasing the shrimp. It is ridiculous out here right now. On a north wind or a northwest wind, some kind of north wind, you're gonna get these flat conditions at the beach. And that's when you gotta get it. Look, 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 oh my God, you see it right in front of me. Go, oh, he hit it. Oh man, if this don't get your blood pumping, I don't know what will. Look at him, all the birds are chasing the shrimp, trout's underneath chasing them up, boom, 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 boom. As you see, we were like right off the beach, there's my blue bucket over there. It's not far, that's maybe about 40 yards. Standing out and probably about Way deeper water, and that's a good one. That's a good one. There we go. That's a good oh, hand slipping off the reel. I forgot my net by my damn truck. Is he a keeper? Show sure is. That's a good one. Try to nice, be nice and gentle with him. There we go. That's a keep all day right there. Gorgeous. Beautiful speckle trout. Look. And there you go, there's a, at least a little bit of the stringer. George has the other part of the stringer. And a keeper though, huh? Uh, foul hooked, huh? <laughs> oh God, got smoked again. Just let it sit there. What, that one? Oh, it looked small. If, he, if they even look remotely where they ain't going to make it, we're going to throw them back. Oh, <laughs> I, I might want to take off this drag a little bit more. Oh. George, why don't you show them what we got up in here, bro? There you go. There we go. Look at them specks that we're catching. Oh, you got a bigger one than that? Oh, man. Look at that. Look how pretty that is. Fish on. All right. Look at it. Right there, we got another fish in front of us. Man, I don't think we could have picked a better day to come out here, huh? Oh, he got a net. He need a net. Big one. Oh, that is. That's a nice one. There you go. James and George over there putting a hurt on them. I didn't catch me some fishes. Yeah, the nicer ones came out to play. There we go. They ain't definitely ain't shy eaters right now. That's a good one. That's a real good one. George got one too. Keep him in the water. He might be a keep. He might be twelve, but we ain't keeping him that small like that. There you go, James. There we go. Small one. 
<laughs> hey, come off. There we go. That was a baby anyway. He wasn't a keeper. Huh? Oh, yours was good? Not mine. Fish are getting too close to your legs? Oh my God. There we go. Look at him. There we go. Little baby. Oh, yo. <laughs> he tried to get me. But guess what? I'm too smart for you. And you ain't getting me. You better quit. All right, there we go. All right, now I can let you go. Oh, there we go. There we go. Look at him. Look, he's just still sitting there. <laughs> Look, he's twitching it right in front of him. And the fish is hitting it right in front of him. That's nuts, man. That's how ridiculous it is out here right now. How hot it is. He's twitching it right in front of me. He's getting bites. There you go. Oh my God. Hey, oh, good God. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. Well, my damn line's tangled up around here. I got a decent one, I think, on, I don't know. <laughs> all right, got it off. Just letting it sit there. Oh, no, this is a good one, I think. Nah, what you think? You think? Oh, come here. Ah! 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 No! Ah! Stop, 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 stop. Oh my God, he got me right in the, he got me right in the meats. Right in the meats. It's all right. Hey, all right. You think? Ah, uh, he's too small, man. Goodbye, buddy. Thanks for the fight. And the hook in my leg. Landed right there, twitch, twitch. Hopefully I don't get no necrotage and fasciitis. Look at the bird. Oh, there we go, right there, right in front of me. Right in front of me. There we go. That's the best thing about having that braid. I can just shake them off if I don't want them. Dude, I can see them underneath it. You see them? Like here and there, looking at it. I had a bite right there. <laughs> Watching them come up and eat it. <laughs> Dude, they were like right in front of us. Like right there. Look at them all. Eating the shrimp. Look at him. Look at the porpoise. Everything is here to feast right now. Call me right here. Nah. Big enough? Nah. He probably is big enough, but if we got a bedroom, we don't want him. Oh my God. <laughs> it's crazy. I'm watching them. I'm throwing the bait, subsurface bait, twitch, twitch, and they're coming up and hitting it. Whack, whack. And just, I can watch them. I can see them right underneath the water just coming up and wearing it out. Come here, little pet porpoise. That sucker's right here, dude. Look at him. <laughs> see, one of, the, one of the things you gotta do is you just gotta, these fish keep moving. Like they going in and out and left to right. The porpoises are chasing them, the shrimp's moving. So you gotta look out at what you're fishing to get your clue on where your fish are. You know, we've been seeing a lot of shrimp getting hit and we've been catching a lot of our nicer fish around the shrimp, not around the bait fish as from what we've been seeing this morning. And uh, just looking for these gulls. You can see over there, they got gulls diving. You got pelicans right there. You got porpoises. It's like a big giant feeding frenzy and you just got to figure out whether they're closer to the beach or a little bit further out. Like a little bit ago, I was a little closer in. I was catching them probably about 20, 30 feet in front of me. He got one right now, James. 
monster to bait out there just let it sit and had a damn fish on there wasn't a big one but fish speckled trout spotted sea trout yell them out get them out there we go oh, oh that good one huh no yeah oh that's a good one I... come on bam <laughs> whoa good god damn they yanked out my hand man i'll try to get out your way little baby there we go we'd have an easy limit of 75 right now if we was measuring these fish a lot of them look at about 12 inches but <laughs> there we go twitch twitch boom twitch twitch boom and I say here comes the boom ready or not this thing about braid when you get these speckle trout on there and you pick up your lure and they go to shake and they just come right off definitely need a net I forgot mine in the truck when I went back yeah this one's a medium light but like when you, once you grab that line if you keep them in the water they won't come off as easy it's just a pain to try to freaking it's just a pain uh to try to land them you know because it's like trying to land it like a bass but if you keep them in the water like this and you try to grab them they got a little you know your hooks are staying in them a little better <sighs> see my hooks never move yes, sir. look at all them speckle trout Got to get some ice on the fish, then we're going to tell you what baits we used, how we worked them, how we caught all these fish today. We didn't even measure some of the fish. If they looked like they were over 12, like 13, 14 inches, if they were even close, we didn't keep them. And man, I'm telling you, we probably caught 300 fish today, 100 fish a piece. Maybe some of us caught more than others, who knows. But I mean, we caught so many damn fish out here. It's on fire right now watching them. Sharks were coming out. I caught a Spanish mackerel. They had sharks. Porpoises, shrimp, birds, pelicans, everything you can imagine. Just it's all out feeding frenzy. So make sure y'all come down to Grand Isle. Y'all gonna have a good time. Tell you that right now. All right, guys. The way I was working that mirror lure today, I had a white and silver mirror lure, and I was just throwing it out there, and I twitch, twitch, let it fall to the bottom, and when it got to the bottom, I was getting my hits. Sometimes I twitch it, and right after the twitch, I get a hit. Sometimes just reeling it fast. Other than when it went to the bottom, that's when I was catching more of the bigger fish consistently, getting the better hookups, better bites, everything like that. And uh, we're going to have James and George talk about what they did and how they caught their fish and what techniques and type of uh, approach they used to catch a speckled trout off at Elmer's Island. Just throwing top water baits. Trout was chasing the shrimp around pretty good. You know, the shrimp was scattered across the water fast. So we're just trying to mimic that motion to a sense. So as soon as the bait hit the water, you kind of erratically retrieved it back, trying to, you know, mimic the shrimp jumping across the water. And sure enough, they started hitting it like that. When the sun came out, switched to a suspending bait, let it drop down a little bit and twist it around. And on top of the bait, we had, uh, we had the chug and scoop and I had the skitter walk. Uh, skitter walk was working a little bit be uh, better because, you know, it had a little more noisy of a pitch with the waves. And, uh, Chug and scoop didn't do as well because you know it's just less noisy. All right, I was uh, using a bomber, my small bomber jerkbait, white chartreuse bag. Pretty much throwing it, a couple of light little twitches. All right, so we ended up with like 30, 35 keepers, but we also threw back shit. I don't know, maybe a hundred that could have been keepers or so. That was over 12 inches, but we didn't have a measuring tool with us, and if they even looked remotely close, we didn't keep them at all. So. Caught a lot of good fish, caught them on top waters, caught them on jerk baits, caught them on suspended twitch baits, caught them on porgies, caught them on a double rig, fishing the bottom. It was just insane to see that much activity, you know, at the beach. Everything was alive and out, out there, eating everything this morning. It was a great time. Northwest wind, north wind, any kind of north wind is going to make that beach lay flat, you know, get some pretty water up in there. But I hope y'all liked the video. Make sure to subscribe, drop a like, drop a comment. And I'm going to check y'all on the next one. Later.